Hello everyone, welcome to Scholar Online Technic Automotive. In this video, I will show you how does the electrochemical reaction process on the car or motorcycle battery. A lead acid storage battery can be partially discharged and recharged many times. There are four stages in this discharging and recharging cycle. Now, as you can see on the whiteboard, I've drawn the simple illustration of the battery and the electrochemical reaction process. As I mentioned before, it consists of four stages. That is charge, discharging, discharge, and charging. So the first stage, charge stage. A fully charged battery consists of a negative plate of sponge lead or PV, a positive plate of lead dioxide or PBO2, an electrolyte of sulfuric acid or H2SO4, and water or H2O. That's the first stage. Now the second stage is the discharging stage or when you use the charge battery with the load. For example, when we use a lamp connected to the positive and negative terminal of this battery and this is the current flow from the positive to the negative terminal of the battery. As the battery is discharging, the electrolyte becomes diluted and the plates become sulfated. The electrolyte divides into hydrogen or H2 and sulfate or SO4 and the oxygen from the positive plate combines with the hydrogen to form water or H2O and the sulfate or SO4 combines with lead or PB to both positive and negative plate that's the second step the third stage is discharge stage in a fully discharged battery both the positive and negative plate are covered with lead sulfate or PBSO4 and the electrolyte is diluted to mostly water or H2O the last stage is charging stage in the charging stage the chemical action is reversed so the SO4 or sulfate combines with H2 or hydrogen to become H2SO4 or sulfuric acid and the free oxygen combine with the lead on the positive plate to form a lead dioxide so that's the full cycle of electrochemical reaction if you have any question comments feel free to leave them below and thank you for watching